Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are diving into the top 10 biggest features of iOS 18 that you can try out right now. I have got the first developer beta installed on my iPhone 15 Pro and let me tell you, iOS 18 is shaping up to be one of the biggest updates in a while. Before we begin, a quick note. Some major features like Apple Intelligence which brings AI and Siri enhancements are missing from the first developer beta. So we'll only be covering the features available right now. First up, lock screen customization. You can finally customize the flashlight and camera toggles on your iPhone lock screen. You can choose from a wide variety of actions and even run shortcuts. To customize these actions, long press to open the lock screen customization menu. Tap the minus button next to the camera or flashlight icon to remove them. Now. Tap the plus icon to add a new action. As you can see, there are hundreds of actions to choose from. In future, third-party developers will also be able to offer lock screen actions making the lock screen toggles even more useful. Next is home screen customization. With the iOS 18 update, iOS is finally allowing users to place their app icons anywhere on the screen. Simply drag and drop the icons wherever you want. You can also change the color of icons to dark mode to match your dark wallpaper. Currently, only first-party apps support this feature, but we will see app developers offering dark mode icons for their apps before the stable version is released. Other than the dark mode, you can also use the tint feature to change the app icon color to anything you want. One benefit of using the tint feature is that it also works on third-party app icons. Another thing you can do is use large app icons options to make your app icons larger. The benefit of using this feature is that it removes the app labels making for a cleaner look. There are several other home screen customization options including the ability to resize widgets on the fly, using app icons to add widgets and more. We'll publish and covering this feature in details with the step by step guide. So subscribe to get notified when that goes live. At number 3, we have the redesigned control center. The new control center takes a few minutes to get used to but the changes make the new control center way better than the last one. You now have multiple pages in the control center. The first one gives you an overview of all the controls. The second page shows music controls. The third home controls and finally the last one shows connectivity. I like that you can quickly add or remove control center toggles without opening the settings app. Just hit the plus button in the top left corner and use the add a control button to see the list of controls available to you. You can also resize any control toggle using the drag corners. My favorite thing about the new control center is that now third party apps are allowed to offer control center toggles and that's going to make the control center far more productive. After years of waiting, you can now lock and hide apps on your iPhone. You can lock any app by long pressing on its icon and tapping the require face id option. When you do that, you will notice that you get two options. The first one only locks the app while the second one locks and hides the app so it doesn't appear in the spotlight search or on your home page. You can find your locked apps at the bottom of your app library in a hidden app folder. Tap the locked folder and authenticate with your face id see all the apps you have hidden. Next up is the messages app. iOS 18 adds a ton of new features to the messages app, my favorite being the ability to schedule text. You can now schedule text using the new send letter feature. You can choose any date and time you want and the text will be delivered at the set time. Apple has also improved the tap back feature in iMessage. You can now see a list of your recently used emojis and can use any emoji as a tap back. You also get the ability to format text and add text animations. You can bold, italicize, underline and strike through text using the formatting button in the top right corner of the keyboard. There are also several animation options including shake, nod, triple, jitter and more. Apple Notes get several new features with iOS 18 update. You can now collapse headings, use math functions and get audio transcripts. My favorite feature is the audio transcripts feature as it allows me to take notes on video courses without worrying about missing anything. You can easily view the transcript, copy it and interact it any way you want. Sadly, it seems that this feature is only available in the US right now, so we were not able to test it. However, we have seen multiple videos which shows that the audio transcription works flawlessly and the transcription is pretty good. It's been so long since I have used T9 dialing is that I almost forgot how to use it. But thankfully, it's finally here. You can now easily find contacts using their name or phone number. The presentation could have been a little better by reducing the size of the keys, but at least it's a step in the right direction. One feature that I never thought Apple will release is call recording. It's not available in the first beta, but since we are talking about the phone app, I had to mention this. When you record the call, Apple will notify the other party that they are being recorded, so there's no surprise on either front. With the call recording, you will also get an audio transcript of the call, allowing you to easily skim through the details. This is going to be such a lifesaver for business calls. Apple has also completely overhauled the Photos app, and truthfully, I'm not so sure about it. The app looks more busy now and has become more complex. I like that you can fully customize the app and add and remove the elements you want, but it will take a lot of tinkering. Below 
the regular photo grid, you get collections such as recent days that shows you pictures taken on the most recent days. This feature is meant for people who have a lot more interesting life than I. Below that, you will get people and pets, memories, trips and more. We will publish a full guide on how to navigate and customize the new photos app so you can get the most out of it. So stay tuned for that. You are getting a new passwords app that shows you all your saved passwords, Wi-Fi passwords, pass keys, codes, and more. The password app is available across all devices, including iPhone, iPad, and Mac, so you can easily access your passwords from anywhere. And last but not the least, the final big feature coming to iOS 18 is the new redesigned calculator app. It can now save your history, has a built-in convert function, and a new maths notes feature. I love the convert feature on the iPhone as it lets me easily convert currency, area, length, time, temperature, and a dozen other metrics. I'm happy that I no longer have to make Google searches for simple unit conversions. The maths note feature is awesome. With this feature, you can handwrite mathematical equations and get the answers instantly. The feature supports complex mathematical equations and even support variables. Let us know if you want us to cover this feature in detail and we will publish a detailed guide on this feature. That wraps up our list of the top 10 iOS 18 features you can try right now. Which features are you most excited about? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.